in your neighborhood. It's Buffalo's bravest versus Buffalo's finest. This city's police and fire department battling it out on the softball field, but it's all for fun and all for a good cause. Our seven news reporter Jordan Johnson live for us at the diamond on Elk Street this morning, telling us more about this event. Hey, Jordan, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning to you, Ed and Katie. Who doesn't love a good rivalry, especially when it's all in the name of mental health? Joining me this morning to break down what the softball game is all about is Matt Cross with the Buffalo Police Department. So, Matt, can you kind of break down why this game is so special and important to the first responders of Buffalo? Absolutely. This is going to allow us to get together as both departments and our friends and families and just blow off steam, be together, kind of forget all the trials, tribulations, and tragedies we've been through for the last couple of years. So for us to get any time off as rough as it is, and to be able to get together and just really enjoy each other instead of worrying about each other all the time, just for one day is going to be so wonderful. And what do you hope happens out there on the outfield and in the diamond tomorrow? I hope people are absolutely making fun of each other, having a great time, just kind of forgetting about daily life for a little while. I really do. And that's so important. And this is all for the peer support group. So can you kind of tell me just quickly why those peer support groups are so important? They're extremely important because it's literally us helping each other. So we are all volunteers. We completely drop whatever we're doing to be with our peers and coworkers when they're struggling. Um, we train all the time. We just want to make sure that our people are good to go and we're providing them with every avenue we can to get them back to where they need to be if they are in a, in a dark place. And what an important thing to be supportive. So the community should come out here at the Madai Sports Complex tomorrow starting at 1 p.m. until 6. Live in Buffalo, Jordan Johnson, 7 News. Jordan, thank you. Really an important